Right, so here we are. Um, I started this journey Wednesday morning, it's now Sunday afternoon, and I have finally arrived at my most furthest northern part of the road trip. This is Glasgow. Behind me is 99 Otago Street, and I came here around about 19. 92 I think it was and um, I was here for about four years stayed till 96 um, when I came to Glasgow this was after living in um, 27 Junction Road in Romford uh, so it was a complete change going from London to Glasgow a completely different city um, but nonetheless city life and everything like that um, out of the two cities Edinburgh Glasgow and if you're uh, ever visiting in Scotland, Glasgow is definitely the city. Um, Edinburgh's quite pretty, but I think Glasgow's got an edge to Edinburgh. I love Glasgow. Such a brilliant place. Um, so yeah, I came here uh, to basically go to college. Uh, I went to the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama, which is now the Royal Scottish Conservatoire. I did a diploma in stage management studies. I uh, studied for two years and then they, after I graduated, they then gave me a job as an assistant stage manager. Uh, and so that kept me here for another uh, two years. But I was in the flat behind me pretty much for four years. So when I first arrived in Glasgow, I didn't actually come straight here to Otago Street. I actually uh, rented a little bed sit uh, just down the road uh, off Byers Road near the Botanical Gardens. Was there for about a week or two. Um, started college, um, had to leave it because it was so damp and horrible. It was like a little bed sit. And I managed to find uh, an address really, really close to the college. Um, at some theatre digs with a lovely old lady called Mrs. Allen. Uh, stayed there for a few weeks, uh, but then that got cut short because she was getting some repairs done to her roof uh, and I was sort of in the uh, loft room, so I had to leave. Um, I had nowhere to go, so basically my year group, I was a first year at the time in a stage management course, my year group basically put me up. So I was in different places. I went all over Glasgow. I was in east south i even stayed all the way out at loch lomond in baloch um, and stayed with a friend there uh, at his parents house so i did that for the first term and then after that eventually i got fed up and thought right i need to uh, shell out a little bit more money than i can than i can afford and so i rented a room here so i had a room here uh, there were four rooms and uh, we shared a kitchen and a bathroom and a little toilet and um, yeah, it was really good. This is a really cool part of Glasgow. So basically we're in the west end of Glasgow, um, off Gibson Street. Um, the university is literally just over here, uh, down the end of this street here. Um, there's loads of bars, pubs, takeaway places, all sorts of stuff. There's a really good nightlife around here. And anybody that was anybody basically lived in the west end of Glasgow. Um, most of the students from uni lived in the west end of Glasgow. So there was always parties to go to, etc. I mean, my four years here was quite incredible. Um, yeah, I certainly knew how to, to work hard, but play very hard as well. Um, so I have some incredibly fond memories of this city. Um, it's not really changed apart from where I am now. This is like a, a building, I'll try and take a photo. It's called Hillhead Primary School. But when I first came here, there were tenement blocks, just like the ones behind me, that then got torn down. It was a car park for a while, and now they've built this new sort of uh, school. Uh, so yeah, um, but the tenement building behind me hasn't changed. Incidentally, the property behind me, out of the 24 places that I've lived officially this was the only place that I ever got burgled in um, after about a year in this place um, we all got burgled um, and I got a whole bunch of stuff stolen from my room um, but that's the only time I've ever been burgled was here so yeah Otago Street was a was a, a really uh, good stomping ground for me it was only a 20-25 minute walk to college from here um, it was also close to um, the King's Theatre, which um, I used to do a lot of uh, casual work there. So whilst being at college in the daytime, I used to work at the King's Theatre in the evening and work on the shows, etc. 
um, and then you're not that far from Socky Hall Street here which is sort of like one of the main thoroughfares of Glasgow where there's just lots of pubs and clubs and all sorts of thing down, things down there and then obviously going into the centre you've got all the shops um, so yeah this was a really really uh, cool part of my life I absolutely enjoyed it here I mean what was I a 22 year old stayed here till I was what 26 um, I was one of the oldest in my year group um, but it was just brilliant the college was an amazing college it was probably one of the best in the country at the time which is why I came to this one um, and it was a really good grounding for me I had an, an incredible experience worked with some amazing people um, and from the college it opened up all sorts of opportunities for me which was superb so yeah Glasgow was a, a really good grounding and in terms of my profession as a theatre technician um, my years in Glasgow was basically what I guess uh, moulded and formed me into the um, with the skills that is the craft that I know basically in theatre. Um, I think I learnt most of what I do today from my four years here. Now I originally started out as an actor two years before um, uh, coming here I was at um, I was with a theatre company uh, touring Europe and um, I did that when in between living with my mum in Heartland Road and then going off to Junction Road and I was primarily an actor and um, but whilst doing that and um, being based in Germany for a few sort of longer spells during the summertime I sort of got into the, uh, the backstage side of theatre and um, started to get quite interested in that uh, so when I came back my first sort of job backstage was at the Queen's Theatre in Hornchurch uh, I was there for about a year and then decided I wanted to do stage management so I came up here to Glasgow um, I did a diploma in stage management and technical studies as it was known back then and um, Although I love stage management, it basically gave me a really good grounding into the technical side of things and construction and into lighting design and set design. So I kind of left Glasgow with a, a, a whole plethora of skills basically. As I said earlier, whilst working, in, whilst sort of going to college, I also went uh, and did work at the King's Theatre, which is the local repertory, sorry, the local touring house. Um, and worked on a lot of big West End productions and musicals and pantomimes etc. Uh, I did about a year or so on and off working for them. I also did some casual work with the Scottish Opera, uh, some work at the Citizens Theatre, uh, some stuff with Scottish Ballet. Um, so I got a real good grounding. I even did a tour whilst I was here at college. I did a tour with some uh, college students and we went to Denmark and we did a, um, a tour of Denmark for a few weeks. Um, and also whilst being here, I sort of helped set up um, an Edinburgh Festival venue about four years on the trot whilst living here in Glasgow. Um, after leaving Glasgow, I then went back to London and I went to West London, to Ealing, and tried to sort of um, get away from doing um, theatre but after a year of being unemployed and trying to change my career it just wasn't to be so I went back into theatre and went to Christ Hospital as a technical manager for the theatre there uh, from there to Bishop Stortford and then uh, as another technical manager and then on to whole uh, to whole truck theatre where I was there for about five and a half years as a chief technician and then after that I then went to York University as a theatre production officer. So that's kind of the the the, the brief history of my um, of my working career. And smattered in there, there's various Edinburgh festivals, whether it be setting up or coming in as a visiting production or being a resident technical stage manager in one of the venues. I've done about seven Edinburgh festivals, various tours uh, in the UK and Europe. Um, and worked everything from rep theatre to sort of uh, small scale theatre, touring theatre, large productions of uh, touring, visiting companies, uh, producing companies, uh, worked on ballet, uh, dance, opera, the amateur circuit, um, pretty much every sort of genre and caveat that there is in theatre I've pretty much worked in. 
Um, and really, all of it, basically, I guess, stemmed from the city of Glasgow. This is where I got all of my teaching and training. So I have a lot of fond memories of this place. And it's really nice in, in a way to actually end the road trip um, here. So I left Wednesday morning. It's now Sunday afternoon and I'm now going to try and find a campsite for a couple of days and just rest and chill um, and then uh, I'll work my way back down south again. So hope you've enjoyed this journey and I'll uh, see you again soon. So here we are, number 24, the last of all of the postcodes, the place where van life started from and um, yeah it's really bizarre, I managed to find the parking space, the exact parking space that I used to park the van, the place where I did all of the insulation, the cleaning, the kitting it all out etc and um, here we are full circle, 24 postcodes and all of the in-betweens, the, the, the places that I haven't even mentioned. Um, these are just the official sort of postcode places. And uh, here we are, full circle. Um, it's incredible. I haven't been back to this address. I've driven past it a few times, but I haven't actually been back to this address for, well, over three years. Um, it's just incredible. Um, this, um, came about because I had to get out of um, 38 Nursery Gardens in York and so this here is 150 or 150 Tadcaster Road. Uh, this is the other side of York um, but it was a good place, um, reasonably okay in rent. Um, I used to cycle to work from here, it used to take me just over 20 minutes to cycle. Yeah, there used to be some really nice running routes around here which was really good and um, yeah, this was um, a really cool, a cool place. Um, I um, sort of got myself in a decent place here um, and everything, so I'm really happy that I had this one. Um, it was a good place to um, set up the van and everything like that. It was, you know, I had easy access to get to it, etc. Um, so all of that was a was a plus side to to starting van life basically um and um yeah quite short lived in this property i was only here for um six months or a year can't quite remember actually um yeah fairly short lived um but it was it was good and um it ticked all the boxes and Obviously, if you want to see the inside of this, you know, just go up here to the link. Um, and this is where the channel started from. Uh, the first episode, Red or Blue Pill, was filmed here. Um, Unplugged from the Matrix, all filmed in this property behind me. This is where the whole journey started. Um, so it's, um, it's kind of nice to be back here and have a look at it. and. and uh, and uh, just sort of uh, bring back those memories uh, which you know do, do seem so long ago and yet really it was only three years ago, three years ago but there you go this is this is where it ends uh, the, the postcode lottery of um, god knows how many addresses 24 addresses plus the rest that as i say i haven't mentioned um and um my god it's been one hell of a journey um, it's been an amazing trip down memory lane this. Um, it's been really good to see those places and more importantly to actually see it by road. Bearing in mind that half the places, over half the places I went to, I didn't even drive at the time. So it's quite nice exploring them uh, from the road and um, just seeing the, um, the environs of all of these places that I used to live etc. Um, and being, a, being able to experience it from behind a steering wheel as opposed to being driven by someone or being in a taxi or a bus or whatever it was. Um, so that's been quite nice. 
But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, particular series and um, I'll look forward to seeing you in whatever the next one's going to be, the next chapter, who knows what the next chapter is going to be. It might completely blow your mind, you know, um, who knows. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.